Although birds are among the most diversified animals in the animal kingdom, none are as colorful as the peacock, which is closely related to chickens and turkeys. If you really think about it, you can determine who the more trendy cousin is by just one look. Peacocks are like living paintings with six-foot-long feathers, and each one has a distinctive pattern on the tip of its tail. These iridescent markings have become one of the peacock's most recognizable characteristics, mesmerizing both people and other animals with their beauty. Although they are renowned for their striking appearance, there is much more to these exotic birds than first meets the eye. Read on to learn out. Please remember to like and subscribe for more interesting facts as you click your way around the globe. The word peacocks only pertains to males of the species. Females are known as pin peafle, which are one of the largest flying birds when fully grown. Although you may recognize them as peacocks, the correct term for them is actually peafowl. There are only three species of peafowl, the most common of which is the blue peacock, which is indigenous to India and Sri Lanka. The average peafowl may grow up to 4 feet tall and weigh between 4 and 6 kilos when measured from the tip of its bill to the tip of its extended tail. The green peacock from Java, Myanmar, and Burma follows this. Last but not least, the Congo peacock is an uncommon species found in African jungles. Colorful patterns are only present on male peafowl. In contrast to how peacocks are typically perceived as being more feminine, if you've ever seen a peacock with magnificent patterns, it was probably a male. Pea chickens typically have subdued feathers with only shades of brown as their primary hue. The train of a peacock, which can reach a height of 6 feet and accounts for 60% of its total weight, is referred to as the bird's most ornamental feature. There are numerous colors available for peacock trains. The eye-shaped markings on a peacock's train come in a variety of colors, including blue, crimson, gold, and other shades. There has been much discussion among the scientific community about the purposes of the exquisite iridescent coloration and the enormous train of peacocks. According to Charles Darwin, the male's flashy traits evolved through sexual selection and function to attract females. More recently, Ahmad Zahavi argued in his handicap theory that these characteristics served as accurate indicators of the male's fitness because less fit males would suffer from the challenge of surviving with such huge and obvious structures. Peacocks primarily use their elaborate tails to entice possible partners in order to secure a mate. A peacock would spread its tail into a magnificent fan that touched the ground on both sides of its back. The peahand uses this courtship show to determine which peacock would make a good mate, typically choosing the one with the most magnificent feathers. With their distinctive microscopic structures and light responsive coloration, peacock feathers can only have a complicated biological basis for their designs. This quality is caused by the reflection of different light wavelengths on their colorful train. In other words, the feathers' crystal-like structures are responsible for the fluorescent colors of a peacock's train. Although they look very different in adulthood, it can be difficult to tell a baby peacock's gender at birth, but they grow up so quickly that they can walk by themselves in just one week. After a few months, they will also be able to fly. T-files resemble owl talons in that they have four toes on each foot. When they roost in trees, key phones unusual structure of having three toes pointing forward and one going backward helps them hold onto branches. The infrasound noise, which ranges in volume from 70 to 108 decibels, is audible to other birds but is only perceived by human hearing as the sound of rustling grass in the wind by keacocks when they shake their tails in a particular way. Picks also create noises that are as loud as passing cars. Despite the fact that their tails produce low-frequency sound, pika calls are very loud. With their shrieking noises, their calmness tell a completely different story. Among the loudest animals you've ever heard, peacocks become more prevalent during monsoon season as their meowing noises signal the beginning of rain. Peafiles can generate 11 different sounds. A peacock's call can be heard within a 5-mile radius and can reach over 100 decibels at a distance. These sounds typically indicate a mating or distress call. 
Peafowls are social creatures, and the adage birds of a feather flock together is true of them. Peacocks are also the loudest members of their species. As omnivores, peafowl mostly consume plants, flower petals, seed heads, insects, other arthropods, reptiles, and amphibians. Early in the morning or at dusk, wild peafowl rummage through leaf litter in search of food. For the warmest part of the day, they withdraw to the safety and shade of the woods. Since practically everything may fit in their beaks and be digested, these birds are not particular about what they consume. They vigorously pursue millipedes, other arthropods, tiny animals, and insects like ants, crickets, and termites. Small snakes are also eaten by Indian peafowl. Peacocks and peahens are highly reliant on one another and like to remain in small groups. He felt like mingling with humans in addition to creating groups with people of the same species, peafowls also enjoy engaging with humans. A group of peafowls is known as a harem, but an all-female group is known as a bevy muster or a party. Often if kept in captivity, peacocks would have a favorite person. Peafowls are similarly aggressive in nature. Despite their friendliness, peafowl turn territorial when a stranger enters their territory, whether it be a human or another peafowl. Peafowl have a 10 to 20 year lifespan on average, at least when they are living in the wild. However, they can survive up to 50 years in captivity. Peacocks, like some other animals, are polygamous. In the wild, peacocks are known to have several female companions. They can have a minimum of two female partners and a maximum of five female partners. Three to six eggs are laid in a clutch by peons. Most peacocks achieve sexual maturity at three years of age, although blue peacocks are known for breeding as young as two years old. Peons must care for these eggs for about a month until they hatch into peachings. The peak period for their clutched laying occurs from January to March. Peons are cunning birds that use unfertilized eggs as a decoy as far away from their nests as possible to frighten off predators. Predators are confused by this activity, which aids in keeping them away from the chicks. Peafowls can fly, starting as young as three days old. This may come as a surprise considering how meaty they are, but they usually prefer to stay on the ground and only fly to flee from predators or enter their night roost. Peafowls cannot swim like other birds because of their unwebbed feet. The national bird of India is the peacock. In addition, the bird has a deep significance in Hinduism, where it represents wisdom, goodness, and compassion. Hindus also revere peafowl because they believe that the dots on their tails are the god's eyes. According to Feng Shui, peacocks function as protectors, shielding individuals from dangers and calamities. Additionally, the unusual eyes of the feathers have a similar significance to the Hindu virtue of monitoring eyes. Blue peacocks can endure the winters in the north. Given that they are native to warm, humid locations, it is rather surprising, but blue peacocks have been shown to be able to endure extremely cold temperatures in contrast to green peacocks, which by default favor farmlands and warm regions. Farmlands are one probable habitat for this species, as peafowls prefer to live in areas with easy access to plants and low trees so they may feed as conveniently as possible. Forests and bushlands in the rainforest peacocks are raised as pets. As merciless as they are beautiful, peacocks feed on even the most venomous types of snakes, earning them a reputation for keeping villages safe in agricultural areas. This is only one of the many reasons people keep them. White pea falls are caused by leucism, which is a disorder of diminishing skin and feather colors. White peacocks are not albinos, as seen by their total loss of color and pinkish to reddish eyes. Hunting has caused the peacock to decline over time, and human activities like poaching and industrialization have resulted in the lack of suitable habitats for peacocks. White foss can be born as yellow peachicks that gradually turn whiter with maturity until they are entirely white from their crest down to their train. Science and art may be two distinct fields, but that doesn't mean they always coexist. One look at the animal kingdom will reveal creatures of all shapes and sizes. 
It's important to protect endangered species not just for the delicate balance of the ecosystem so that the future generations can live through the same experiences. The IUCN lists blue Indian peacocks under the least concern category while the green and Congo species are classified as endangered. If you liked our video, please share it and subscribe to our channel for more informational videos.